The title of this message is Keep the Faith. When opposition arises, we have different default responses. The purpose of the opposition is to get some type of response from you is to get some type of reaction from you, is to take something away from you. The purpose of the opposition is to convince you that you are not who you believe you are, that you are not who God says that you are. So it is important to keep the faith. But before you can keep faith, you have to have faith. You have to build faith. You have to strengthen your faith. You have to know who you belong to. You have to understand your mission. You have to know what your assignment is. And you must not waver from that no matter what. No matter what influences surround you. No matter what voices try to clutter your mind. No matter what outside interference tries to break you, you must keep the faith. The word says that God only requires us to have faith, only requires us to have faith that is as big as a mustard seed. And that's not a lot. That's not a lot. And having faith and keeping faith goes beyond just believing. It is operating in that thing. To have a thing, you must use that thing. There's a saying, if you don't use it, you lose it. The same applies to faith. The same applies to faith. That is why we are encouraged to fast and pray. Fasting strengthens your faith. Fasting removes the things inside of you that the world tries to put inside of you to weaken your faith. You must keep the faith. You must keep the faith because sometimes that's all that you have. Sometimes that's all that you're going to have. Sometimes what you can see does not look like the promise. Sometimes everything that surrounds you looks like there's no hope, there's no point, there's no use in believing. That's why you must keep the faith. Because to keep the faith is to know it's not about what I see, it's about what I know about who I believe in. It's about what I know about God. It's about what I know about the promise. He said, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater is he that is in you than this world. That's why you have to keep the faith. To keep the faith is to keep God flowing through you. To keep the faith is to have the strength of God flowing through you. To keep the faith is to remember. To remember about David and Goliath. To remember about Daniel. To remember about all the people that you read about in the Bible that were faced with great opposition. That seemingly had an impossible feat in front of them. And they overcame. The promise was fulfilled. The word was fulfilled. You have to keep the faith. You must keep the faith. I'm going to be honest with you. There, there are many times when, there are many times when I, myself, have not kept the faith. I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you something that occurred in my life. Um, I had a beautiful awakening. I had a beautiful breakthrough around April. And it was so impactful for me because prior to April I had this dream 
I didn't quite understand it all at the time, but it's so clear to me now. You know, they say hindsight is 2020. Basically, what happened was um, I had this dream. There was this woman. I'm starting to believe it's 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 the same woman that I saw that was holding my son's hand. I believe it was the same woman that I've seen in other dreams. I believe it's the same woman. Who she is, I believe, will be revealed eventually. Um, but this woman, she was giving me dresses and she was telling me to believe in myself. My aunt, one of my aunts, she gave me like this, kind of like this plaque that I keep on my dresser and it says believe in yourself and that's what it made me think of in my waking life and um it says believe in yourself and all you want to be don't let what other people say or do make you frown laugh as much as possible let in the good times and get through the bad the longer you practice the habit of working toward your dreams, the easier the journey will become. You are meant for great things. Always follow your dreams. So in this dream, this woman was giving me dresses and she said, believe in yourself. And at the time, it didn't make sense. Fast forward, um, my grandmother on my father's side, she told me to reach out to my cousin on my father's side a while back, and I don't think that I did at the time. Um, but I was moved around that time, around the April time, to reach out to her. And um, long story short, we were supposed to get together. I didn't have anything to wear, so I went to the thrift store to get something to wear. Lo and behold, I wound up picking out all these nice dresses, like these nice, um, appropriate dresses. Um, and there was one in particular I was going to wear, you know, to meet her, to go out with her. Um, but she canceled. I didn't understand why. I didn't get an explanation. Um, well, she kind of stood me up because there was no communication. Um, but... I was confused about that. Fast forward, um, I had decided, I do poetry, so I decided that I was going to do open mic at a later time. I was going to get some things in order and I was going to do open mic later. I reached out to another aunt of mine. Just Sometimes I like to just send people inspirational things. So I sent her something. She contacted me. She said, thanks for sending me this. Hey, we should get together. What do you like to do? I said, you know what? I love open mic. I wasn't planning on going anytime soon. But um, we can do that. There's this place that I know of. So I look online. The place that I usually go to, turns out they closed down. I didn't know because it's been a while since I've been. And it turns out another place that I had been to once, they were open on my birthday. So for me, for someone that believes in fate, for someone that believes the the beliefs that God moves a certain way, God moves through people and different circumstances. It might not make sense at the time, but then you understand. So for me, it seemed like all these little pieces of the puzzle were starting to come together. The dream of this woman giving me these dresses, the situation that required for me to find something to wear, me going to the thrift store and picking out several dresses. And then, although I was canceled when I still had the dresses and then this opportunity that presented itself for me to go to this event on my birthday of all days and being prepared. So all these little events were preparing me. All these little events were leading up to this moment and I was prepared. I had what I needed. But here's where I didn't keep the faith. So I had told myself at the onsite, you know what? I told myself even if my aunt, for whatever reason, even if she had to cancel on me, I was still going to go. I had decided this was about God using people and using circumstance to get me to this event. I'm supposed to be at this event. There's something waiting for me at this event. Somebody at this event needs to hear what I have to say. Maybe I need to hear what someone has to say. Maybe it's somebody I'm supposed to meet at this event. But here's the issue. And this is what I mean in keeping the faith, faith about sometimes certain 
people being in your ear that you don't need in your ear, certain influences being around you that you don't need around you when you need to keep the faith. So basically, it went from I'm okay if it's just me because I believe that's what God wanted. That's what this was always about to somebody basically telling me, um, hey, see if such and such wants to go with you. If this person can't go, see if this person can go. interfered with things I was so caught up and I had wasted so much time trying to find a replacement to go with me to this event when initially I had already decided I was okay going by myself initially I already decided this was never about anyone else this was about God using these people operating through these people using these circumstances to get me to this place and now, of course, it's very clear. It's extremely clear. Long story short, I was so exhausted. I was so tired. And then to top it off, I decided I was going to work that day, which made no sense. By the time I was done working, I was so exhausted. I realized I didn't even properly prepare. There were um, books that I needed to have ready for the event. Just in case people were interested, there were audios I needed to have prepared for this event. Just in case people were interested, I didn't have any of that prepared. I wasn't prepared. I wound up missing the event, and I could feel it in my soul. I could feel it. I knew I missed something. It was soul crushing. It. I felt defeated, and I was so exhausted. I was so disappointed in myself. I was so disappointed in the situation because I knew I was supposed to be there. I knew that I was supposed to be there. And the problem is that I didn't keep the faith. The problem is I didn't go with the initial plan. The initial plan was always, we're going to get here. We're going to have faith and know we're supposed to be here, no matter who's coming with us. Sometimes in keeping the faith, you got to understand, sometimes you got to do that thing alone. Sometimes nobody's coming with you. And it's not always because they don't want to. Sometimes they can't. Sometimes they're not supposed to. You have to keep the faith. You have to keep a faith that is so great that you understand that even though it may be scary, even though it may be terrifying, even though you may be walking out and stepping out into the unknown, even though you are unsure what comes ahead, you have to keep the faith. You have to trust the process of what's occurring in your life. You have to be able to recognize why these sequences of events are occurring and what they are occurring for. You have to keep the faith. You have to keep the faith. You have to know that God's word will not return to you void. You have to understand the way that God moves. God can move mysteriously. Don't let the outside voices of others interfere with your faith. Interfere with God's plan for you. Interfere with your purpose. Interfere with an opportunity that God has placed in front of you. Interfere with a very pivotal moment in your life. Now, the result of me not keeping the faith, the result of me not sticking with the original plan of, you know what, even if it's nobody else, it's okay. It can just be me. Even if no one else can come, it's okay. It's not a big deal. Instead of me keeping that initial frame of mind, I faltered. It turned into something it was never supposed to be. And that's why you have to be careful. And that's why you must keep the faith. And that's why it's important to recognize God's voice. And to recognize when he's doing a thing in your life. Recognize when he is moving in your life. I have no doubt in my mind that I was supposed to be there. I have no doubt in my mind that all of those events occurred because it was God moving through these people. It was God sending me messages through these people. It was God putting the pieces together. 
for me to move. So that's my experience. One of many experiences, but that's one of my most recent experiences. Why you have to keep the faith and understand that in keeping the faith, sometimes it may be lonely. And keeping the faith, sometimes you got to be quiet. Because too many ears and eyes on your situation, too many ears and eyes on your circumstance, too many ears and eyes on what God never intended to be open to everyone concerning you, it can interfere with God's plan for your life. It can interfere with God's purpose for your life. You have to keep the faith. Keeping the faith means understanding that sometimes you have to walk alone. Sometimes it's just you and God. Sometimes everybody else can't come. Sometimes everyone else can't come at the moment. Sometimes you got to walk that thing alone first. Sometimes you got to be the trailblazer. Sometimes you have to become the example in order for people to believe, in order for people to see, in order for other people's hearts to be transformed. Everyone doesn't get the vision. Everyone doesn't see a thing. That's why you have to keep the faith. That's why you have to keep the faith. There's a saying, seeing is believing. I heard this poet say this thing. It was so beautiful. She said, believing is seeing. You have to believe in order to see a thing. You have to believe in order to see a thing. You have to believe in order to see a thing, to have a vision, to see the end result before, before it's even there, to see that building while there's still empty space in that lot, to see what can be while you're still at the starting phase. That's what it means to keep the faith. That's what it means to have faith. Believing is seeing. Believing is seeing. Keep the faith.